All, all right, what's up everybody? It's Dylan here, and I'm gonna to talk to you all about how to make an Instagram grid using Adobe Illustrator. Uh, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to start up our new document here. Um, I'm gonna call this one IG Tutorial. Um, with Instagram, if you're making a grid, the best way to do it is to have each upload be a square. So we're gonna to wanna to do 1080 by 1080. Uh, we want to have them in series of three. So if we're going to do, um, if we're going to do three different series, we're going to have nine artboards, three times three. Uh, because this is a digital upload, we don't need to have any bleeds. So these all can be at zero. Um, now I actually already made a file, so we can get right to it. So instead of clicking create, I'm just going to click close, and here we are in the file. Um, now I'm going to describe to you a little bit about what I did to get set up here. Um, first of all, as you can see, we have series of three here. I titled the artboards and all I did there, um, first of all, you can navigate to your artboards uh, pretty easily from the side panel. Typically, you'll see the, these over here and you can just click, boom, artboard. Um, you just double click these, it'll take you to them and then double click the title and you can change what they're called. And I changed the names so that way that when they export, they're all labeled properly and if I'm sending these to a client, uh, it'll be really easy to, to know what's going on. Um, so, as you can see here, I have series of four photos. Um, the center, these three, that's what's going to be the focal point. You can see that there and there. Um, and then I also have kind of these more like random stylized photos uh, that I use the same filter for in Lightroom. Um, however, it's going to be less of a focal point because it's going to end up being the background of the of the um, of the grid. So let me, uh, let me show you how we're going to get started here. Um, let's start out with the Johnny series. Uh, one of the things that I want to do is I want to make sure that all of these grids are butted up next to each other. Um, that way there's a sense of continuity um, across the grid since I'm using these backgrounds. Um, if you also just want to do a simple three photo um, grid, this is also what you'd want to do. But we're going to get a little bit more fancy here today. Um, so I like this right about there. I'm um, going to crop this image down just by clicking crop in the top navigation panel. And I'm going to bring this in just so it fits across those three. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, this is really simple, is I'm just going to take these photos and I'm going to place them across these three panels again. Um, really quick, that one's showing up that it's in the back. You can't see the image, but you can see its outline. If you hit command shift, and then right bracket on Mac, it brings it straight to front. All right, and then we're gonna have to do that again. Okay, so um, these are all, the, the model here is wearing a shirt that I designed for a client. So I wanna make sure that the, the design is really showing up there, um, and it also has this neat background. All right, now I'm just gonna repeat that. The next three is Molly, and that, here's Molly over here. Um, we're gonna bring in our background, zoom in a little bit. Uh, hotkey for zoom is just command plus. Pretty simple and definitely a useful one. Um, yeah, we got that fitted. Zoom out, command minus. So I'm gonna stretch that out so it fits across all three. Press V and it'll bring you to your selector tool. I'm gonna just kind of put this in a central position on those middle three artboards and then let's crop it down so it fits. Boom and boom. All right, and again, like having that being perfectly fitted is somewhat arbitrary since the focal point is gonna be the model in the shirts. So again, gonna place this here as such. And that's looking pretty spicy. Oh my gosh, my cat just jumped on my computer. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, um, okay, one thing that's important for this one here is we can see that this picture of Molly is popping over into this artboard. Uh, when that exports, the artboard will export that little bit. So I don't want that there. So we're just gonna crop her down to fit into the constraints of that artboard. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All right, we're gonna do one more here, which is the apron series. We got some burnt wood as the background. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, and that's all good and fitted. And the way I'm stretching that image, actually, in case you're wondering, is I'm just holding down shift. So it keeps the dimensions the same. 
Now that's pretty critical. If you just if you just pull the corners without holding down shift, um, it changes the dimensions. Um, here I'll show you. It um, keeps the image the same, but changes the dimensions, which is definitely not what anyone wants for their life or artboard. All right, so we're gonna get these photos of Master Johnny in the apron. Cool. So this is more or less what it's gonna look like. Again, like these overhang bits are gonna get cropped out when we export these uh, artboards. Um, but overall, I'm pretty stoked with how this looks. Um, now for continuity's sake, I actually think in the, the way these are placed, I would probably upload these with this landscape one in the center just to have some sort of, uh, to have these like portrait centered photos as the book ends. But for, uh, for our purposes today, let's go for an export. So we're gonna go to file, go down to export as. We're gonna do the artboards, we're gonna do all, export them as JPEGs. And then that works just great. And of course, leaving them at the highest resolution possible. And I'm not gonna go through all of the uh, changing of the windows and all that, but one of the things that I do that's easiest for me is um, once these are in their folder, I actually just drag them into Google Drive. And then what I can do, let's uh, go over to where they're located currently. Kind of a mess in here, folks. So here's all my images. Um, I'm just, what I would typically do is select these all. They're all titled to keep me um, in touch with who's what and what's who. I just drag these into Google Drive and then I have the Google Drive app on my phone so then I can download the images from onto my phone from Google Drive and then easily put them up on Instagram. Um, and just to show you an example of how this turned out, um, here's a uh, client's Instagram that I run and uh, here's, their, uh, here's their grid and it's looking pretty cool. Um, it's, uh, and then here's some additional ones that are a little bit more simple. Um, but again, with this, it's really just a matter of uh, setting up your artboards, making sure things are cropped properly, uh, making sure that you have a neat background, and then just composing them so that they look the way you want. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, leave any comments or feedback in the uh, comment section. And um, until next time, thank you very much.